God is good. Isn't God good? Praise the Lord. And today is another testimony of the goodness and the greatness of Almighty God. We thank God that we are able to start this work here in Bacardi Road. But it's a joy to be here tonight. Yes, and um, I am so happy you know, to see so many people here because I, f I felt that I was a part of that, that Hana family, you know, from day one, from, from the time I joined the Church of God of Prophecy, the Hana took me in as their son. Yes, and I remember every... I had my plate just about, there's about a couple of people in the Church of God of Prophecy who, I, who had plate open for me. That's before I got married, but after I got married, I changed, you know. Yes. But Emma Hannah and Alison Hanna, they were, they were that couple. They always had their doors open for me. And I recall Brother Hannah. You see, my father-in-law, the late Pastor Clayton Hannah, Wilson, rather, and, and Brother Allison, they worked together for many, many years. And the Wilson household and the Hannah household would, well, they were all in the same Yellow Elder. And I found my wife in Yellow Elder. Isn't that wonderful? Oh. Yellow Elder produced some good woman. Amen. Do, do I have that? Do, doesn't Yellow Elder produce some good? I can speak because my wife came from Yellow Elder. And that's the best person. I see, I see Pastor Phil looking at me hard. Yes. <laughs> you know, but um, I recall, I recall, it was Alison Hannah's mother, the late Pastor Martha Benneby, caused me to be a church of God of prophecy. You see, it was Martha Benneby, her son Oswald and I, we, we were close, we grew up together, you know. And this night, she wanted to go to church, and she couldn't find Ozzy. So she said, Solly, come here. Drop me to church. So I said, OK, I can drop me to church. And when I reached there, she said, now, you can't leave me, because I don't have to, you drop me here, you got to take me back home. So I said, oh, Lord, you, you agree that I should drop you to church? So I said, I can sit in the back. They had a revival that same night. The same night in that revival, I got saved. And Mara Benneby. After I got saved, Mother Benby used to take me home. She used to train me in the white wing messenger. She had the white wing messengers. Just some of them old white wing messengers, they never opened up. And she was so happy to see me because she's opened them up at one from 1955. She opened it up, you know, to spend some time with John and I in the middle of the night. That same Mother Benby. And I thank God for your mummy, Allison. Yes, she was really there to me. And when I went to Auckland, I met. Alison Hanna, she called us, that's, that's my mom. She said, what's the name? Is Wayne? Eh? Wayne? Oh, no, Wayne? Who no Wayne? OK, yes, yes. That, that's, a, that's a tie in South Solar there, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, from Pompey Bay, yes. Yes. You see, I, I, I got in this family so much, you know. When, the, when I went to Auckland, one of the first persons I met, you know, in Auckland was, was, was um, Wayne. Could she tell me about her husband's name? Um, Roque, Jerry Roque. Yes. I believe it. Was. And guess what? It didn't stop then. You know, and um, and it's, it's amazing to see that um, the same the same person, the same little boy, who Allison and Emma Hannah nurtured, became their pastor. But didn't stop there. But when I went to to Mini Street. The mother of Sister Emma is, you know, oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, praise. Yes, ma'am. I count it all joy because I knew Alison Hannah's mother, and I knew Emma Hannah's mother, and I served them. Praise God. And I'm so happy to see mother in the house. Isn't that wonderful? Like? Ninety-nine, and and guess what? You know, I believe the Lord, gonna, Lord will tarry in March, and and I think the way how God moved this time in this convention year, because Mother birthday usually fall.
during the National Convention. But this time, by the grace of God, her birthday comes before the convention. And we're going to celebrate that, Lord's willing. So we place your notice. 100 years. Wait, wait, ma mama, shake your hand. Hold your hand up, mama. Wait, mama is. Yes, ma'am. Give her a hand. So when I saw, when I saw mother, then I realized, I realized kind of a, a, a girl's, you know, how they were, how Emma and how those girls were, because their mother as a woman never complains. She always have a good word for the people. She is a positive woman. And I want to congratulate, although this, I did not take away from the Emma Hannah, but I want to tell you the way, the, the stock that they came from, good people. Yes. And I, I, I want to say, Sister Emma and Allison and Emma Hannah, it's a joy to be here to celebrate with you on your 50th wedding on the street. On behalf of my, my wife, my family, and indeed the Church of God of Prophecy Ministry, we extend to you all the best wishes. God bless you. Amen. We want to give God praise and thanks for this effort. I also want to commend the Palm Tree Avenue Church. Praise God for beginning this way. Praise God. And, uh, and, the, and the baton has now passed on to the national mission effort. Praise God. Amen. Sister Williams and Sister Taylor and the National House team working in partnership with, with Pastor Finley and his wife and the saints here at Yamakura National Mission. Truly, God has been gracious to you. And I want to commend you on behalf of the National Board of Trustees. You know, um, Pastor Finley, Sister Finley, and the saints here, and by extension, Pastor Roker, Sister Roker, and Pastor Pratt, and Sister Pratt, and the saints at Palm Tree Avenue Church for this effort that you have done. With the knowledge that he who have begun a good work in you, not one thing, he who have be begun a good work in you, shall perform it unto the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we commend you and congratulate you. And Yamaka mission, the Lord is with you. The God of Jacob is your refuge. Stand, therefore, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the wake of the Lord. For as much as we know, our labor is not in vain in the Lord. It's indeed a privilege of mine to stand here this evening to say how glad I am when they said unto us, let us go into the house of the Lord. And, and what a beautiful sanctuary this is to be in, in the Queen settlement of Spanish Creek, Andros. Do you agree with that? Look what the Lord has done. And with this in mind, we acknowledge the presence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Truly, the Lord is in this place. Yes. On behalf of Bishop Ghana Brahmi, National Overseer, and Chairman of the National Board of Trustees, his wife, Minister Jacqueline Rami, also a member of the National Board of Trustees, Bishops George Thompson, Lufus Keeper, Ministers Nathaniel Benedy, of the Glenn Benedy, Rochelle Delavo, and Becky May Stubbs. It is my honor to acknowledge and recognize you, the special guest, to this historic occasion. And of course, we have worshiping with us today some beautiful people, God's people. The way declare them, for ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Let us now show forth the praise of him and call us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Let us praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you and we thank God for your presence here today. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, what joy it is to be here in this beautiful settlement 
of Palmetto Point. In this historic event, the service of praise and thanksgiving in conjunction with the organization of the Church of God of Prophecy, North St. Thomas, North Palmetto Point, Delutra, and the appointment and installation of Pastor Michael Dorothea Ferguson. We acknowledge and recognize the presence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We acknowledge the presence of some very special people here today. Leading this distinguished list of people is our very own yeah. National Overseer, Bishop Dr. Elgana B. Rami. And his lovely wife, Minister Jacqueline B. Rami. Of course, we are heard from our moderator, who is the district overseer and senior pastor for the Church of God of Prophecy, Hashbe Alistair. Bishop Ile. And Spanish well, yes. Bishop Ile. Romeo Ferguson. And his precious wife, praise God, Minister Amen. Ferguson. Amen. We praise God and thank God for two members of our National Board of Trustees here present. Yes, yes. They include Minister Nathaniel J. Benavie. Yes. 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 And Minister Bethany Stubbs. Yes. We are so delighted to have with us Bishop Franklin M. Ferguson, National Director of Training and Development, and Senior Pastor of the Church of God of Prophecy East Street. I see, I can get you in the house. Amen. East Street certainly is in the house. And what a beautiful house it is, eh? Praise God over here. We thank God for all of you, God's children. You are special. God bless you, God strengthen you. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful ways to the children of men. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord, all ye people. Praise him, all the nation. Look what the Lord has done. Church, God is greater. God is greater. The enemy thought that he had me down, but look what the Lord has done. And I thank God for his goodness. And guess what? This is just the beginning of the great things that God is doing for the church of God and his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, yes, I felt the virtue of the prayer that was made for me on Sunday morning, Bishop. Praise God, hallelujah. And I thank God that I can stand before you in this convention and say, truly, the Lord is good. I want you to praise the Lord with me. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord again. Let's praise him one more time. I'm in convention to God be the glory. Amen. I thank the Lord for the dedication of this magnificently, magnificent newly constituted and constructed sanctuary, a fitting structure worthy of the glory of the Lord. This is certainly the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. Let the heaven rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the people praise thee, O oh God. Let all the people praise thee. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wondrous works to the children of men. Expressions of gratitude have been laced throughout this service and are also included in the program booklet. Thus helping me out, and these expressions 
are included and is a part of my expression of gratitude. With this in mind, I say special mention should be made to you, our national overseer, for moderating this great service of praise and thanksgiving to Almighty God. We thank you for the message which has been delivered, the first message which has been delivered in the third tabernacle of the Church of God of Prophecy in the Bahamas. We thank you, Minister Ramming, for that last minute notice to moderate. And didn't you do a good Wonderful, wonderful moderating. Special mention must be made to you, Bishop Roker, Pastor Gresham Pratt, and the wonderful saints here at the Palm Tree Avenue Church. We thank all of you. In the interest of time, we thank all of you who have participated in this great service. You certainly have indeed been a gracious and a lovely audience. And we say to God be the glory for your participation and praise. Special recognition is also given to all those who have faithfully supported and continue to support the annual national drive, which provided funding for projects such as this. And we hope that you will continue to support National Drive 2012 as we continue to labor and work in the Lord's harvest. God bless you. God strengthen you. Thank you, one. Thank you all. God bless you. Praise God from
and him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And to him be glory in the church, both now and forevermore. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Good morning, school. Remain, stand, remain standing. Before I pronounce the benediction, I too would like to say that I was a student at the same school. And at the time, the principal was Mr. R. N. Sawyer, whom I now know is Mr. Robert N. Robert Nelson Sawyer. And I also pay respect to my teacher, Mrs. Katrina Cartwright. Yes. And um, secondly, I feel proud of Columbus Primary School. And to God be the glory. Let's give God a praise. Now, I would like you to shout praise the Lord. Say it loud. Praise. Say it loud. Praise. Say it louder. Say it louder still. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and grant thee peace. Let us all say, Amen. God bless you. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior. The Lord has been good to me. I want to praise the Lord with me. And praise the Lord again. Praise him one more time. I thank God that I'm able to be here today at this closing session of the 78th District Convention of New Providence. I thank God for his goodness. Now on next Sunday at 4 p.m. at this local church, the Lord will allow us to come together in the celebration of Thanksgiving and appreciation for yours truly. Praise the Lord. And I hope and pray that all of you can come and celebrate with me. Amen? Amen. Next Sunday, what time? Four o'clock. Where? East Street Tabernacle, by the grace of God. I look forward and I say thank you very much for your prayers. Thank you very much for your words of, of kindness. Thank you very much for all that you're doing for me and my family. God bless you. We love you. And see you next Sunday evening by the grace of God, 4 p.m. at the, at the East Street Tabernacle. God bless you.